So if we think about what is the relevance of material science uh, when we look at the digital transformation, for example, in production it would be Industry 4.0 in Germany or in, in Europe, uh, then the question arises what can material science help with that. And um, as I said before, uh, if we want to accelerate materials development, for example magnets uh, or for uh, piezoelectric materials or anything like this, then we are in need of having uh, flows in terms of how we develop things which are faster than before. At the moment it's a lot of handwork, so we, we set up experiments, we set up simulations and if we can automize that by having digital workflows connecting everything that would help us uh, developing faster pathways, they would be more reproducible and they would be more sustainable because I could go back and see what were the parameters the last time and how can I make that better. Furthermore, what we are trying to do is also to save the simulations not only for that one project, but also make it available to our colleagues in the end in a digital form which everybody can use in the end. And therefore this accelerates again uh, the whole process because if somebody already calculated something, if somebody did the experiment, I can use that and don't need to do it again. Uh, the same uh, is also true in some way for, for f uh, a more flexible production. Uh, here it's more or less interesting to have for the inline sensors to decide whatever they measured, what does it mean to the microstructure of the material? How does the microstructure of the material connect to the property I want at the end? And this connection between let's say what an online sensor which is measuring something optical or so, what does this mean in terms of the inner structure of the material and how does this inner structure mean anything in terms of the performance of the material and in that case also for the application. So that is the question in the end, how can we bring these three pieces together and if we put the intelligence about the material close to the sensor by having digital workflows and this information, uh, the digital twin available, that will enable a more flexible production in the end. And last but not least, uh, if we look at the lifetime of a material, it's the same thing. If we uh, are able to digitalize uh, our uh, degradation mechanisms which are taking part inside uh, the loading conditions of an application, then we will know how the degradation takes place in the material and what the uh, rest of the lifetime of that, uh, let's say, the application is and would give us a much better way of judging of how I should uh, work with my uh, turbine blade or uh, anything like that, a solar cell or uh, how, when should I take it out. So it could help us developing very stable and, and, and uh, uh, very sensitive ways of uh, predictive maintenance and would give us uh, the possibility to judge on when I would like to do the maintenance, when is it best.